out. It's got to spin down the back. Caution's out. Yeah, we got a car spinning the wall here. Caution number five, and oh, here's Stephen Wallace spinning as well. Looks like that was Scott Gaylord that had been in the wall. Now uh, Stephen Wallace got some damage to his right front. There's the five car Dale Earnhardt Jr. We uh, are hearing from spotters. There may have been some contact from among a couple of these cars, several of these cars. They were trying to get slowed down. The 52 car is who spawned. Now get that right front looked at. Or hit the wall to bring out the caution flag. There is Scott Gaylord's car. Yeah, just looking at Steve Wallace's car, it looks like possibly there's a lot of oil. Yeah, you see a lot of this. fluid coming yeah, out yeah. of this 52 car. Could have been part of the uh, the secondary wreck we saw with Stephen Wallace. Actually, that's a little contact with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah, yeah, that's looking out the back of the five cars ever coming by. If he slowed down to uh, as the caution came out and Steve just didn't slow down or if they were just racing right there and got together. Lucky Dog is the 34 car. Tony Raines, uh, he's the first car one lap down, so he was the Aaron's Lucky Dog free pass winner. He'll get to go back around and get back on the lead lap. That'll put us uh, now with 19 cars on the lead lap. There's 12 cars being shown one lap down, including uh, Brian Keselowski, the older brother of Brad, who's having a great run in his 26 car. Scott Wimmer is back there. And uh, boy, the 66 car guys getting stuck on pit road. Yeah, it's going to cost him a lap right there. That's a tough break for Steven. He had a great car, but uh, it's going to go a lap down right here. Also, NASCAR saying he had a commitment line violation, so he will have to start at the back of the pack anyway. Yeah, probably looking at four right here, wouldn't you say, Andy, just I, I, so they can look at all the tires? I would. I would take four tires right here running up front, and, uh, and then we can make an assessment from there and decide what we do later in the race. Watching Mark Hollywood Armstrong, tire changer there for Stephen Wallace. They got to address this issue right here with the right front Fair so they don't cut it, another tire. That baseball bat's going to do that for them so they can roll that around there in the front, shape that fender, and get it away from that tire. Yeah, fender out the best you can. Make it look as pretty as you can, Hollywood. See, they brace these fenders up pretty well, so when they get bent in, they're kind of hard to pull out. Work on going on Stephen Wallace's car. He'll have to start at the back anyway. That's why he is already on pit road. Everyone else will have to wait one more lap. The pits are still closed, so we'll take a break and come back to Las Vegas with pit stops in just a moment. Trouble. A couple of the contenders, Burton and Harvick, involved in a crash, and now others swept into it. There's Stephen Wallace spinning. Just like we saw early in the race, this 29 car just turned around right in front of traffic. Stephen Wallace involved. A lot of cars involved in this. Kevin Harvick, one of the contenders, is in it. Yeah, Harvick has a lot of damage to his car. There's Stan Barrett. 61 car. Just in over his head. Also spinning, Brandon Witt. There's the 61 car. The damage on the back of the car just got back on the lead lap a moment ago. Just kind of hold your breath on these restarts because these cars are so twitchy with new tires and full of fuel. And there's the damaged car of Kevin Harvick. Maybe the best chance he has had in his career driving his own car to get a win, but that will go away. Once again, Andy, I think as much as anything, they don't have tires on him. You see Burton just get loose right there. He tries to keep it off of Justin Allgaier, but slides right up in front of Kevin Harvick. Yeah, the thing is, they didn't have new tires, but they did have a full load of fuel. fuel yeah. and, they, and they're around so much traffic, and this air has got stirred up so much that uh, it's really a tricky part of the race when they start to have these restarts. Yeah, and you've driven cars before. You know that when you put that full load of fuel, most times you do it just out practicing, just how much it changes your race car. We see right here from Harvick's on board. We got it, boys. Once again, we're talking about some of the best drivers in the world. These are cup guys that are losing this. Three-time winner here. Jeff Burton, and here's the chain reaction behind these cars spinning. There's the contact, 6107 of David Green, Stephen Wallace. Morgan Shepard does a great job to miss this. You see a ton of cars involved. Eric McClure, nice job going down pit road to avoid it. The 24 car, here's McClure. Got a wreck off the four, wreck off the four. Come on, 
down pit road. Come down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good job. About the damage on uh, the 29 car, Dan Deeringhoff, and uh, meanwhile, Stephen Wallace is headed to the garage area. Stephen Wallace now in the garage area. Shannon. Doc Stephen Wallace also collected in that last wreck. What happened out there, Stephen? I don't know. The first time I got spun out there under caution, running like six or seven, Dale Jr. decided to wreck me there, and that uh, you know forced uh, my right front tire to get blown out, and, and, and it also ripped my right front fender off, put me a lap down. I got my lap back. I was running like 11th, and uh, it's just everybody just didn't keep spinning out thing all by themselves. I don't know what's going on out there, but uh, our U.S. Fidel Chevrolet was really good today. I just hate this happen. You know, I, I just feel like if like we would have got wrecked the first uh, first in, uh, first portion thing under caution that we want to be here right now. So uh, I just hate it. I want to say hey to all the guys at US Fidel. So uh, hate it for you. But we had a good card. We'll go back to Bristol, you know, where we run really good at and uh, to try and win the race. So thanks. A lot of drivers in this garage here today, Dave.